I became the villain the hero is obsessed with chapter. Reunion there's a law that goes something like this. Before a big accident happens, there are dozens or even hundreds of small accidents, and a similar law applies to the hero manga Stardust. Phase was represented by the descent of the Sun God. In the original manga, the Sun God doesn't appear out of nowhere, but is gradually hinted at in Phase by the Wish Granter and the Angelic Descent. The final event of the trilogy involving the Sun God was codenamed Leviathan. Giant translucent dragons appeared all over the world at the same time, surprising people and making them wonder what was going on. For the record, they weren't particularly harmful, thanks to their translucency. Their bodies were made of light, so objects could pass through them. The only problem was that people who went inside them complained of dizziness and felt a little strange. Well, if you don't touch him, he'll go away on his own. There was also a minor problem that he would shoot at any hero that attacked him. Anyway, I decided to defeat him. I wondered if I should do it, but there was an item I needed to get from him. I donned my familiar mask and cloak, and watched from among the clouds as the beast appeared below. Whoa, it's really big. I clapped my tongue at the sight of the elongated dragon, Echoliviathan, pinned to the ground in the heart of Sil's city center, swimming across the land as if it were the sea. The sea. The sea. A large, translucent creature with pastel colors all over its body was floating on the ground. And not kidding, it was huge, just like in the original maybe even bigger than the beast of destruction from the moonlight gate, because of its long body. I stared at it, glancing at the news screen and chat window that popped up on the left side of my mask. Her what the hell is this? Breaking news a giant rainbow dragon has appeared in Selim in this dragon's body right now, except I'm a little dizzy. I'm running away what kind of a country is this? They're all appearing in different places. This is all because Mangostic is gone. Gone. Well, just have to trust Stardust for now. Let's watch the sky closely. In case Egostic makes a surprise appearance, you've been watching these broadcasts for only one reason. To prevent the unfortunate event of me being caught on the station's helicopter cameras and being seen. To be honest, it would make a lot of noise if I showed up now. Maybe it's best to hide for now, though it wouldn't hurt to be seen. Whatever today. I was going to see Stardust, after all, I thought to myself as I flew through the sky, my first priority was to defeat the beast. You might ask how I was going to do that. Booty had a plan. With that thought, I flew high into the sky and headed for the top of the dragon's head. It was a strange creature, with multiple donut-shaped eyes in the front and extending down the sides. All in all, the dragon was transparent. Except for one thing, the jewel on its forehead was a real, non-transparent sphere. That's it. The jewel that animated Leviathan, one of the sun god's illusionary dragons. Just like the moon god's moonstone, that jewel contained the pure power of the sun god. Well, it's not really that important, but it's a bit powerful to have around. It needed anyway, so I thought it'd take it with me this time. I wasn't going to use it as an excuse to see Stardust for the first time in half a year. Yeah, anyway, let's give it a try. With that, I smirked and flew toward the creature's head. The dragon looked uncomfortable as I approached, but it didn't show much wariness. Perhaps because I was too small, or perhaps because I was too weak, I took that opportunity to get in front of the jewelry and after that, it was one thing after another. It was supposed to be quick. I threw my hands up in the air and gave it my all. In the original comic, the way they dealt with this villain was simple enough. The jewel on the dragon's head is pure sun god power and the power of the star god is the opposite of the sun god. Therefore, if you hit it with the power of the stars, the jewel will be destroyed. Using this logic, Stardust had easily smashed the beast. This meant that I, who had received the power of the same star god, could also lightly smash the jewel with that thought. I gathered telekinetic power in my hands, allowing my hands to become imbued with the power of the stars, and at the same time, bang, uh, I slammed my hand down on the gemstone, and gave it a push, Hemph. My arm began to burn and surge with power, as if it knew what I was touching. The power in my body began to surge down on him in rapid succession, and as I watched, I felt it instinctively. Finally, my true star power is awakening. Is this an awakening event that only the protagonist experiences? 
Just like that, my head suddenly exploded with the howl of a burning beast. I was in such pain that my hand was about to fall off, centering on my hand. <sighs> he saw a bright yellow light begin to glow, just like stardust. Yes, this is it. I'm finally awakening my powers. Look at this bright yellow light. This is it. As I was thinking these thoughts, suddenly, the light emanating from my hand began to gradually dull. Help. For some reason, the light on my hand wasn't yellow, but the same ominous black color as my clothes. So while Stardust's fist contained yellow light, mine contained black light. What the hell? Did you give it to me in the concept of a villain? No. God. I prefer the brilliant yellow. I don't like it when you change colors at a moment's notice. Of course, my wishes were not granted. Care. With that scream, the jewelry shattered and the beast's body also shattered like glass. Um, just like that, it collapsed. I saw the shattered jewel fall to the ground as well, so I rushed forward and grabbed it out of the air. My arms were stained with the combination of my black power and his rainbow-colored smoke. Hey, I slipped the transparent, silvery gemstone grain that I painstakingly got into my pocket and struggled up into the air. air. Grunt, there were many hiccups along the way, but I had defeated the monster and gotten the gem. Now all that remains is to talk to Stardust. My guess is that after all the commotion, she'll be here soon. It's been a while since I've seen her and am a little, oh, nervous. Suddenly, I felt a very familiar gaze from behind me, and I realized, Willow, with that, I sighed and brushed my arm off. I turned my head and there she was. Oh, a woman with her blonde hair fluttering in the blue sky. The blue sky. My favorite person I haven't seen in half a year. Stardust. She was looking at me with trembling eyes, as if she couldn't believe her eyes. It had been so long since it seen her. I swallowed my breath at her overwhelming beauty, then smiled, trying to calm my trembling heart. Ha ha. I had a hard time dealing with it. Ha ha. I still in disbelief. She only replied with a pale face and a trembling voice. It's been a long time since I've seen her, I thought as she looked at me. Actually, I was embarrassed to part ways like that, as if we'd never see each other again, and then to brazenly show my face again like this. More than that, I was worried about her. Worried about- I suppressed my embarrassment, opened my mouth and started making excuses. Ha <laughs> ha, why do you look at it that way? <laughs> I said I was quitting terrorism, not retiring from activity. Ha <laughs> ha. She's about to cry at my words. I don't know what it is, yet this is not like me. If I see someone after a long time, I should say hello. I thought to myself, to myself. I smiled sincerely and said to her, hello, Stardust. It's been a long time. At my words, Stardust, and she flew to me with tears in her eyes and hugged me. Egostic, egostic, she flew right into me before I had time to react, hugging me burying her face in my chest, holding on to me, calling me name and starting to cry. I don't know what the hell is going on. I have a momentary brain freeze. Actually, I could have avoided her, but I didn't, because the look on her face was so distressed. I didn't know why she was suddenly doing this, or why she was doing this to me, but the dinner of a faithful fan ran through me, so I started to fumble, trying to soothe her. No, Stardust. What's wrong? Just calm down and egotistic I'm sorry I'm sorry as I floundered around, not knowing where the hell to put my arms. She buried her head further into my chest, starting to get my clothes wetter and wetter. Stardust started sobbing and apologizing to me out of nowhere. I decided that I couldn't continue the conversation in such a public place. Stardust, come on, let's talk over there. Ah, I dragged her away and decided to go somewhere else. No. What the hell is going on? Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. King Photo of a dragon flying in the sky. This is in front of Stardust flying next to the clouds in this picture. Let's zoom in on it. Enlarged photo of the sky. Is this not a gothic? Comment. True story. True story. True story. True story. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mango resurrected, directed, directed.